and welcome back guys. Power BI is a business analytics service provided by Microsoft. It provides interactive visualizations with self-service business intelligence capabilities where end users can create reports and dashboards by themselves without having any dependency on IT staff or database administrators. So starting with Power BI, uh, I will give you the first and uh, foremost quick uh, lesson on how to import data and how to quickly visualize something uh, about the data that you have. So I will show you quickly one spreadsheet that I have created uh, just to give you a sample view of Power BI. So in this spreadsheet, if you can see on your screen, you have country, sales per country, costs, profits, and attendance of the staff that we could see. Now I'll bring the same information in Power BI from Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Get data, that is into the home tab, get data, Excel. So you have to click on get data, Excel. Now it's asking you for some links or space where you have saved this file. So you will click on the file. There you go. It's connecting with the data. It's pulling in the data from the tables. Now you can see um, your tab here. Click on the tab. It shows that this is the table that you would like to visualize. I said, yes, please load it. So load button is here in the bottom. Click on it. Now Navigator will load your data in. So sheet one is being loaded. Now we have all the columns on the extreme right side. We can see attendance, cost, country, profit, sales, whatever we want. Now we have sample visualizations here as well, so we can take any one of them. I will pull down some of the lists, uh, listed visualizations on uh, the board here, the whiteboard that you can see. On the left side, you can see this is the report section. On the other side, you have the data section. You can see the table here. There's a relationship tab section as well. So we have tables here and we can connect multiple tables. In this case, it's not applicable because I'm demonstrating only one table. In further lessons, you will see how to connect tables as well. So let's simply go into the data import that we have. So I will click on the country. And let's say I want to see how much sales per country I'm having. And you can see the country view where I can see all the countries and the bubbles are showing me how big the sales is per country. So if I make it a little bit bigger, I can see here my sale per region. I will make it a little bit smaller back again and I will create another visual. So it, again, at home, you can click on the visual. By the, by the way, it default, by default, it picked up this view. If I want to change this view, I can simply click on any one of these views. So I will click on this view where I can see the sale per country and I can see China as a number one. So this is sale per country that I can see. I will create another visual. Now this visual, I will pull down here in front of it. And now this visual contains nothing. So I'll have to select again countries. Let's say I want to make cost visual here. So this is a cost visual. I want to see it a little bit differently. So I will take, let's say for example, uh, a view that shows me the costs um, like this. So if I want to change the colors, I can see here the paint box. I will click on the paint box, data colors. I will change the colors here. Let's say cost, I want to give it a different color. So now I have cost here. I have a sale here. I will drag down the sales a little bit. I will drag down the cost a little bit as well, just to make the view balanced. Now I want to see another one. I will click on the visuals. The visual is here. What do I want to see now? I will again click on the country and I want to see my profitability, how much profit I've been uh, obtaining from different countries. Now here, I want to see a different view. So I will click on this one and I can see profitability view that's slightly different now all the views are here I can select let's say for example if I select China here it will you see it will prompt up 
it will highlight China in all of the tables. So if I click, for example, Germany in this one, it will highlight Germany and fade other countries. So that's one of the features that you can see here. Again, I want to see some other different uh, comparison, for example, here. So I will add another visual here. The new visual is here. I will pull country. I will put cost and I will put sales as well. Now cost versus sales analysis is here. I want to see this analysis like this. There you go. Now I can see that where we have more costs coming in versus sales as well. So this is kind of a small view. I will go back to the colors and I will change this color of cost as red. I'll make it red, yes, and the sales as, let's say, yellow. So I can see the comparison of my cost and my sales and all these uh, countries you can select or highlight by your own choice whenever you want. Now I want to go back onto that uh, kind of a small um, chart which was showing geographic view. So I will again click a new visual. This visual will be country plus attendance. So how much attendance we had of the staff in our country. Uh, so if I click on this field map, I can see here. So now I can see the colors. So you see the highest attendance is here in China. So that's how I can have the view of uh, my country as well. So I will remove this view just because I want to demonstrate some other views to you. So click on a new view. And I would like to, let's say, for example, show you uh, profitability per country. And I will take this one. So now it is showing me the bigger country with the biggest profit. For example, China is with the biggest one. And these are certain charts which can give us the visibility. For example, I want to take it this one. I can make this one as well, or only the numbers. So I can see the numbers here. So this, these are a few uh, kind of examples which give us view of visibility uh, of different countries, of different data that we have uh, in our data sheet. So quickly. Uh, I wanted to demonstrate how you can import the data. I will repeat, you have to get data from Home tab, Excel, and directly click on the spreadsheet. Import the tables here. You can see the table view here, and then you can play with your Power BI as much as you want. You could see it is easy, and it's convenient to create the chat or the graphs, whatever you want to do that. In next sessions, we'll go through the relationships, we'll connect multiple tables, and we'll see data coming up. Till then, I would wish you a good rest of the day and looking forward to speak to you then. Bye-bye.